Hey everybody, James Yeager with Tactical Response. Thanks for watching. Um, stupid internet gun stuff. Uh, <laughs> some of these I've passed by and I forget about them. Polishing your trigger. Um, so there's a lot of guys, you go on any of the forums, especially the handgun forums, and they're always talking about getting the Dremel out or whatever and polishing their triggers. And they mean the trigger bars and the different pieces and parts uh, in, in, in an effort to make them not jerk the trigger as much. They don't think it's them jerking the trigger. They think that, oh, these guns just aren't accurate or whatever the case may be. I'll point you to the Instagram video where I made a 135 yard shot with a Terran tactical pistol. Yes, it has a fancy trigger in it, but my point is that the best polishing you can do for a trigger is taking training. People disregard that. Oh, you're a trainer, blah, blah, blah. There's another thing, especially when we kind of move over into AKs and AR-15s, many times, many times the hammers and p different pieces of that gun are uh, case hardened. And for those of you that don't know what that means, I'm not talking to anybody that does, it is uh, like an M&M. &M. Uh, there is a hard shell around the piece. There's not chocolate in the center. There's a hard shell around the center with softer metal in the middle. It's just hardened, hardened on the outside. And uh, this is particularly dangerous because when you polish this thing enough, and it's just a thin shell, when you polish it enough, then you expose, you can't see it, you expose the soft uh, internal metal, which wears very quickly and, uh, and can, be, can cause uh, the gun to go off when you don't want it to. That's not an accidental discharge, that's a negligent discharge because a negligent person was, uh, filing on that metal, dremeling, polishing on that metal and got through the coating. There are no accidents. It's all because of somebody's negligence. So, uh, so the stupid internet gun thing for today is trigger polishing. Uh, if, uh, if you have had training and your trigger is still a problem, then you need to replace or upgrade the trigger. Home gunsmithing with a file, with a dremel, with hand polishing, is never recommended it's never safe and it will never make your gun actually shoot any better this is james jager with tactical response reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends